So I'm about to do something that I've never done before. I'm gonna turn this room into a pinhole camera. So I admit this is a pretty janky setup, but don't make the same mistake that I did by buying some super thick fabric from Walmart, because when I came to put it on, I couldn't hang it because it was too heavy and it just kept falling and I didn't want to use duct tape, so I'm going with the janky approach of some used paper that you can see here. And I got some cardboard. I got some poster board to patch it up. So in total, this was like a $6 setup. And the whole point of doing this is you want to black out the room as much as possible. And so once everything is blacked out and solidified, it's gonna cut a hole into the middle of this. And everything that you see on the outside is gonna be shown on the wall that's in front of me. What's so cool about this is that you, this was like kind of like the beginning stages of photography. And you can still create like these DIY, if you YouTube, you know, how to create a pinhole camera. You can literally create your own little camera out of, I've seen it out of cardboard boxes, out of like milk cartons, whatever. But it's, to do it in your own room and to see it projected like life reflected onto your wall, it's pretty fascinating. And it's like, well, what's, what's the point of doing all of this? Well, as a photographer, I'm always looking for something that's it's different and unique and just imagine the things that you could create with something like this on your wall like with your backyard reflected on the wall in your room I mean it's literally a blank canvas I mean imagine what you could do if you just had a little bit of creativity and imagination so let's get to work So I didn't realize this until now. So I'd originally put the hole right here, just kind of like dead center in the window, but it turns out that it went to like the bottom corner of the wall. And I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So I had to just kind of guess and I put it up here in this corner and you can kind of see it now that, you know, it's reflecting on the, the bottom half. So I guess depending on where, you know, obviously where the sun is, it, it's going to rise and lower. Yeah, just food for thought, if you're actually gonna do this. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope that this inspired something, at least got your mind thinking of different ways you can tell stories and use photography to tell your life story. So I'll just leave you with this. You will reach your potential when you start to do something you want, when you want to do at least. So go out there, create some images that you love and that you care about. In my next video, I'm gonna teach you how to make massive panoramas while out in the field. I'll see you next time. Roger out. Cheers.